Hey guys, Ravi here from Ira FX and in this video we'll be learning to make this liquid logo reveal animation in Adobe After Effects. Well, this is a beginner's tutorial considering the fact that you know have to use the interface of Adobe After Effects. So let's get started. Let us first divide this tutorial into three steps. Step one, making the background. Step two, animating the logo. And step three, final touches. So in the first step, let us create a new composition. Let me name this to liquid logo reveal in a 1080p format with six seconds and click OK. So now uh, let us create a background, create a solid. Um, let me name this to background and click OK. So from the FX and presets panel, type in gradient ramp this is one of my favorite effect for adding backgrounds um, select the start of the ramp color to blue since we are you doing a liquid animation and set this to a little slight gray color and uh, change this to radial ramp and swap the colors set the end of ramp value to 3000 and start of RAM to 960 and 540. This is the default settings that I usually use for creating backgrounds. So we have our background ready. So in the second step, we'll have to animate our logo. I have this simple logo that I'm dragging onto our composition. So once I do that, right click on this logo and recompose it. Let me name this to logo and make sure you click on this move all attributes into the new composition and click OK. So we have our logo and this recomposed layer. So in order to have a liquid animation, create a new shape layer. So uh, from, uh, from these tools, click on this ellipse, uh, I'm sorry, the rectangle tool and uh, create a shape layer, uh, a mask to the shape layer. So uh, let me uh, make the stroke to zero for now. And uh, from the FX and presets panel, type in wave warp. We have this wave warp effect and drag this effect onto our shape layer. So set the wave height to uh, something like 100 or 90 and wave width to around 250. So you have this wave created that's moving forward. Drag this, uh, increase the size a little. Expand this transform option and uh, Click on this timer button here so that you create a keyframe for the position and move to around 3 seconds forward and uh, move this layer so that it covers our logo. Um, now we have two keyframes created here and the next thing that you can do is increase the stroke value to like um, 50 probably and uh, set this color to a slight blue color mm -hmm. something around this this looks good now you see that this particular layer goes on top of the logo something like a wave so now in order to have our effect applied to our logo move your logo to the top and make sure you set this track mat layer 
to alpha mat logo if you are unable to see this particular section right click on it on this uh, on this uh, particular section and from columns make sure the modes is enabled now if you go forward and check this you see that this layer reveals our logo so the next thing that we do is duplicate these two layers go a couple of frames forward change this shape layer to a different blue color um, uh, something dark and change the shape to white in order to have a different um, different kind of uh, effect being applied change this rotation a bit and now when you go forward you see that these two layers are, are uh, forming a logo reveal to our main logo composition the last thing that we have to do is logo reveal I mean the exact colors of a logo have to be revealed at the end so what we do is copy these two layers again duplicate it and uh, move a couple of frames forward and uh, now our uh, shape layer has to be on top of our logo for this particular thing and change this to alpha inverted mat so now I'm sorry you have to convert this to alpha mat and uh, make sure that this logo layer is enabled you see that our logo is being revealed now so we are done with the logo animation now the last thing that we are left to do is the final touches let us first uh, pre-compose all our shape and logo layers and in this to main animation and uh, add a new solid um, let it be a white solid I named this to bubbles so from the effects and presets panel type in CC bubbles so drag this bubbles effect onto our composition and uh, set this uh, bubble amount to 200 and uh, let this uh, shading type be lighten now uh, drag the main logo composition on top of this bubbles and uh, set this bubbles to alpha matte logo so that you can see logos inside the uh, uh, the logo composition so uh, at once the logo is revealed at probably five seconds click on T on your keyboard for bubbles layer selecting bubbles layer and click on this timer button and move few frames forward and set this opacity to zero so that there won't be any bubbles once the animation is completed something like this so uh, so the last thing that we are left is adding a simple uh, 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 tagline at the end so I create a new text and type some liquid set this to white from uh, effects uh, let me expand this text layer and click on add animate opacity expand this range selector click on this timer button for start move a couple of frames forward set this to 100 and uh, decrease this opacity to zero and now we have this liquid text that is appearing once the animation is done something like this looks good and we are done with our animation if you look at this this is how it looks
so if you are looking for more visual effects and animations you can uh, subscribe to my channel and you can also follow me on instagram at vfx guy Ravi. you can uh, also check my patreon account for some exclusive downloads you can download this project file as a template from my website irafx.net see you guys next time with another tutorial